Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me. Um, I'm just gonna be getting ready today because I have a lot to show you guys. Hopefully I can have some time to get some videos done today, but I have hit a point in my life <laughs> where I have realized that my makeup, it needs to go. I have been collecting makeup for way too long um, I haven't bought any makeup in over four years, so that's fabulous, <laughs> but everything that I have is starting to get old and I've realized how little I've used up in this four years of me not buying any makeup and it's really like opened my eyes to, holy crap, even if I never bought makeup again, I'd never be able to use up everything I have, plus it would all be rancid <laughs> at that point if it's not already. So yeah so I'm just gonna get ready um in this video and just kind of talk with you guys about um like where I'm at how I'm feeling about getting rid of everything um kind of my plans um to do like a whole series on it and I'm just ready I'm just I'm really excited about it and I just hope that you know this is like the point in my life where it like sticks because I have been I've done really well with not buying anything for four years, but I've been stuck in this whole, like, hoarding it, I guess, apparently. Like, I, I don't really consider myself a hoarder because my house is very clean. I don't have, like, a ton of junk everywhere. I don't even have a storage room in my house. Like, we, we don't have any unfinished part of our house to, like, store stuff. So our house is very clean and minimal. We clean out our house a lot. That's, like, one of our favorite things to do. But there's a couple areas of my life that it's hard for me to let go of things. And that's my makeup, my nail polish, and um, like clothes and shoes and stuff. Um, other things that I have like aren't usually like a big deal. Like house stuff or like kitchen stuff. Like anything like that. No big deal. But for some reason like especially the makeup it's so hard for me. So yeah. So I have my makeup back here. I'm just gonna start getting ready. I've actually like been keeping my makeup in a makeup bag instead for a while just because I feel like it's easier for me on the go with work and with having kids and all of that. So I'm just gonna dive right in. I'll show you what I'm using as I go, but I mainly just wanna talk to you guys about just my plans for everything. So I'm actually like really, really excited about it. So yes. Um, Sorry if it like sounds loud. That's like the downside of like having a makeup bag is, you know, I'm using this um Nutri or no Garnier little moisturizer. It's really old, but I have not had to buy skincare or like hair care or anything like that in years because I just haven't been buying anything. Uh, which that's good because I've like really used up all of that stuff. Like I think I have like three shampoos and three conditioners left out of my hoard. My skincare is like almost completely gone, which is great. Um, like I don't even have an exfoliator anymore, like a scrub, like a face scrub. I don't even have that anymore. Um, Brennan like missed that because he likes those. So he like went and bought his own like manly one. <laughs> I just like, I don't buy anything anymore, which is great. I think I've really healed from my shopping addiction uh, because it clearly was an addiction to shopping and I am really, really glad that that is like healed in me. Um, and I think like having kids, it was a big part of that because I have something to like fill my life with like happiness and like busyness because I'm so busy with them. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find my foundation. I hate like the sound of like, it's probably super annoying, so sorry about that. This. I'm using this Smashbox little BB cream. This is really old. This is like, I think my oldest or my second oldest foundation in my collection. And it's from July 2012. So it's like eight, almost nine years old now, which is nasty. Sorry, I dropped a little cap for it. Um, but yeah, that's like another thing is like, I'm really starting to see like how old my stuff is. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, so now that like I have kids and stuff, I don't have the money or the time really to like go shopping. And I just realized like now that I stopped doing it, 
how much like stress and anxiety I would get from shopping. So, and I'd feel the guilt of like buying everything. And so then I would need to fill that sadness and that stress with something that would make me happy. What made me happy? Oh, buying stuff. But then in turn, like it was just like a vicious cycle. You know what I mean? So I'm really glad that I've just healed from that. And like, I have no interest really in buying makeup anymore, which I think is why I've just been content over the years, just like using up what I have because I just have no desire. Like I still love makeup and I love doing my makeup and all that. Sorry, my dog Rupert is over here chewing his bones so loudly. So if you can hear him, it sounds disgusting and I'm sorry, but, um, yeah, I'm really glad that I feel like he, I think I truly like healed from that, which is good. I don't have a shopping addiction anymore. I don't spend money on anything. The only thing I really spend money on anymore is like once in a while fast food, which <laughs> probably isn't the healthiest for me, but that's honestly like the only thing that I spend money on besides bills and groceries, um, which another great thing that's happened because of this is I, we've become completely debt free. Um, we've paid off all of our debt in January, which was amazing. It felt so good. And, um, so I'm going to use this Too Faced Primed and Poreless. It's from 2012 or 13, I think. It's my oldest primer right now, but it's like almost gone. So just put some of this. I like to use this under my concealer, but this, can, this primer doesn't really work very good, like all over my face, like especially on my nose. It looks horrendous when I do that so I'm just gonna put it around my eyes for my concealer like around my mouth I guess um so yeah that's really great um so now I'm to the point where I need to get rid of stuff um because I started like collecting makeup so this is what happened I right when I first met Brendan I was still dating a different guy I was living with the other guy. We had an apartment together and I through high school would like be like off and on into like the same look like do you remember that like emo type look? Gosh my hands I can't open this now and I was searching like scene makeup and like scene hair on YouTube um because I just like enjoyed watching it. I didn't really dress or do my hair like that really but I just enjoyed looking at it and like watching people do it and I came across, um, I think I was just like looking for like, I searched for like makeup tutorial at one point and, um, cause I started with seeing like, oh, there's like a thing like on YouTube, like people do their makeup like while they're, you know, filming, they film themselves doing their makeup. I was like, that's really cool. So I just Googled like makeup tutorial or something like that. And I came across, um, Blair, Juicy Star 07 first. And I was hooked. I watched, I binged her videos in literally like a week. I like didn't even do my college work or like <laughs> any of my homework. Cause I was just like obsessed with watching it. Um, and I really enjoyed makeup back then, but I never really like bought it a lot. Um, but that's kind of like when it changed. Like at that point, when I started watching her videos, that's when I went and I bought like a little like skincare routine, like a very small one. <laughs> Um, cause I was poor back when I was like 18 and I bought my first like makeup brushes. Cause I think I only had like one before that, like one like powder brush and like one eyeshadow brush. So I went and bought like some eco tools brushes and I was like hooked, you know? And so then like me and my boyfriend broke up like at the end of 2009 and I, cause basically I really liked Brendan and so I, me and Brennan started dating shortly after that and that's like really when I was like engulfed in the YouTube thing like the beginning of 2010 I started buying stuff a lot and I had moved back home with my parents so I had all this extra money because I didn't have any bills anymore I didn't have an apartment to pay for so I was just buying oh did I tell you what concealer the dream moves one this has been discontinued for like ever I love it. I don't know. Like, it's, it'll be hard for me to get rid of some stuff because I just, like, love them. Um, now I'm going to use this Neutrogena Shine Control. This is from 2012. This concealer is from 2010. So, like, around this time when I, like, started getting into everything. 
So yeah, so basically from 2010 until 2016, the end of 2016, I was just buying everything. This looks kind of light, but it looks better at the end. Um, I was just buying like everything and I started with like drugstore stuff and like Dollar Tree and Big Lots and then it like I started shopping at um, Sephora and Mac like at the beginning of 2012 is like when that started happening so it was like two years of just dr drugstore and then like really started going hard with expensive stuff which is hard because I have spent a ton of money I remember one point I added up how much I had spent on just my online orders at Sephora and that doesn't count like in-store and not like anywhere else like just Sephora online and it was like $5,600 which is a lot and I was VIB Rouge like every year up until what year 2016 or 17 I think maybe I always was VIB Rouge which was like really shows you like I, I hit pan it like really shows you how much um money you spend <laughs> when you're vip rouge all the time um okay so now i'm gonna use i'm gonna do my eyes i think and then i will do like the rest of my face after oh my back is like already hurting this chair like isn't very comfortable and i've been like cleaning and stuff today um my branch uh, closed where I work for like two weeks or like 10 days or something because one of our coworkers got COVID. Um, I don't have COVID. I don't need to get tested. I've been fine this whole time. I've been quarantining at home. Um, and so today I sent my kids to my parents' house. So I have the day to myself today, which is really, really nice. Um, and so I was like, I'm gonna try to do some videos today because I never get time to myself. You guys know, like anytime I literally ever get any time to myself, I do like a YouTube video. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use this Bourjois, um liquid shadow thing in beige, I think. I've been using this stuff forever. I just had to take the stopper out the other day, so it's like a big mess now, but nothing was coming out. So <sighs> we'll see, it might be a mess, but um, so yeah. It's nice I have some time off at home and um, I'm excited to start some of my decluttering. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I basically was shopping like nonstop from the, two, the beginning of 2010 to the end of 2016. 2016 I went kind of hard because like the beginning of the year it was great because I was pregnant. I sold a bunch of stuff. I wasn't really buying anything. <laughs> Then boom, I had my baby and me and Brendan went through a really hard time and I filled that sadness with shopping, um, which was not good. And I bought a lot of stuff. My roommates were living here with me and they were always buying a lot of stuff and I just got sucked into doing that. And then it was like at the beginning of 2017, January, is when I started my no buy. And here I am today still doing my no buy which is crazy I never thought that I'd be able to do that long I'd be like I mean I hope I can go like 30 days like 30 days seemed like it was like impossible you know so um yeah I got a hot cocoa today I've had all these Starbucks gift cards for like ever and I never use them and today like after I dropped off the kids I was like I'm gonna go treat myself but I stopped drinking coffee at the end of January this year, so it's been like almost three months. I don't know how I quit coffee, but coffee like wasn't doing very good things for me. Like my health was not doing very good. So I quit drinking that and I have been doing a lot better, but I couldn't believe I like, next is pop. I really need to give up pop. I've been trying and that one's been really hard, but oh, this hot cocoa is like cold now. It's like cold cocoa. Um, hmm, I need to find this other little stick for me. It's always hard to like in a makeup bag it's hard to like find what you're looking for but at the vanity it's like if I ever need to just get up and go somewhere or like you know I'm watching the kids upstairs I can't just bring it with me I have to like pack it all up so I miss doing my makeup out of vanity though 
Oh my gosh, where is my pencil? Sorry guys, this is loud. Let's see. I don't really see. It's like this little tiny black pencil. Here it is. It's this MAC little power chrome eye pencil in life's luxury. Um, I just had to sharpen it yesterday it's like almost gone I've finally been starting to wear makeup a lot again because with COVID and everything and wearing a mask I just like really wasn't and then I was just like really starting to feel down about myself and I have like all this makeup and I was never using it I know this looks crazy right now so I was like you know what no I'm gonna start wearing my makeup even though it gets all in my mask and all of that like it's fine but yeah, so it's been like four years since I've been haven't been buying makeup, and I've just really learned a lot about myself. And um, for those of you who have been subscribed to me for a while, you know, like I am a spreadsheet nerd. <laughs> like I I will make a spreadsheet about anything. I love making Excel Excel spreadsheets. It's like my favorite thing. Um, I'm using this little light color, this Alme Trio. This is like one thing that like I have a bunch of backups of this, and I don't know. If I'll ever be able to let it go because it's like my favorite thing <laughs> like I just think it's so pretty and it's what I used to use in high school so it's also like sentimental to me but um like this one's from 2007 so it's like this is old but I don't know we'll get there we'll get there um it's gonna be a process for sure like um for those of you who are watching who like are excited to watch like a series about it it's gonna take me a long time um, but I feel like I'm like ready. Um, I'm gonna use soft brown from MAC. This one is really really old. Um, these are like my oldest like MAC shadows right here. But I love MAC eyeshadows. Like if I if like all my makeup disappeared or like god forbid something like bad happened, I would probably like go to MAC and just like pick out a couple eyeshadows because they're literally just my favorite. I don't really like palettes anymore and that's another thing because I have so many palettes. I just like there's too many shadows and it stresses me out. I don't know like which ones to use. I know that I'm not going to use them all up around the same time so then I'm going to be stuck with shades that like aren't my favorite and it's just I don't know. It, I don't like palettes like it which is crazy because like eyeshadow palettes used to be like my most favorite thing ever and now I'm I, I don't use eyeshadow palettes like I have never really used eyeshadow palettes so that's one thing I've learned about myself and I know that a lot of these I could probably just like get rid of part of me has like thought about trying to do like a makeup sale again because I did do that like four or five years ago and it was really successful like I was able to sell a lot of stuff and like you know people like to be able to get stuff for cheaper and stuff that's like discontinued and all that this is saddle um hi baby he's coming over to me um and also all of my makeup that I have this is folly is not used like I that's another reason why like I want to get down to just like having like one makeup bag of stuff because I literally just use the same thing every single day until it's gone all of my stuff whenever I would buy it in and hoard it in I would just immediately file it away and store it which is crazy and like not good like you don't want to be doing that so it's like I could totally sell all of my stuff because it's all literally brand new. Um, the shade I'm going to use on pencil brush this is Glamour Check. It's like one of my favorite shades but it's like super old from MAC. I'm just going to use my mirror to catch any fallout. But yeah like I know like some of it is going to be getting old soon like the newest stuff I have isn't I do have like a few new things because I did get a ton of Ulta gift cards over the past few years because like I didn't tell like people oh I'm on a no buy because like I don't know it's just like personal is weird <laughs> um so people would like get me gift cards to Ulta like 
just from Christmas, uh, Brendan's stepmom got me a big <laughs> Ulta gift card because she knows like I love makeup and they see me, you know, and I'm all like dolled up. I do like, I like doing my hair and makeup and they're always like, oh, your makeup's so good. And I'm like, I love doing makeup and I do people's wedding makeup and stuff like that, like before COVID. And so people would just give me gift cards. And so I just have like all these gift cards. So I have bought like a couple things here and there with gift cards um but I still have like a ton of them left and I don't know what I'm gonna like I'll probably use them for like skincare or like hair care when I'm all out but um yeah so that's that's that I but most of my stuff is all like brand new so I totally could like sell it um I just like don't know if people would like be interested I know it's like a lot of work but um, ultimately, 99% of my makeup needs to go. Oh, this is another thing. So I'm a spreadsheet nerd. So I have been doing like a makeup inventory since the beginning. It was like the end of 2014. So I started it like at the beginning of 2015. And I've always kept like the item. So I have like different tabs for each category. So I have like found a uh, face primers, foundations, powders, concealers, all that. And then in each row, I'll have like pressed powders, loose powders, like different things like that. And then I'll have like each item and then like the grams or ounces of it. And then the batch code on it, which um, I did a video once, like how you can find out how old your makeup is, but um, I could probably do it again, like an updated one. Um, so then I put that, so I, and then I could always sort it by like A to Z. So if I wanted to see like, you know, like Elme, Becca, CoverGirl, like in order like that, or I could sort it by like biggest to smallest. So I'd be like, oh, this is my smallest, this one, or this is like my biggest one, you know? Or so like whatever I'd be able to use up fastest. Um, or I could sort it by how old. So like by the batch code. So I could be like, this is my oldest stuff to my newest stuff. Um, so anyway, so I've been doing that. And then I also have a column next to each one of like the date that I finished it. So I went through like a week ago and I was like, I wonder like all my stuff that I've declared, like that have uh, has been marked as out of my collection over the past, like what, six years and a couple months, um, how much I've gotten rid of or used up. So I like put a whole new spreadsheet with all these. And then next to each one, I put like, if I used it up, if I decluttered it, if I sold it, if I returned it, cause I ended up like not keeping it. And then I totaled it up. And let me tell you, the number of things that were used up was so significantly smaller than I thought that it would be. So I like pulled it up cause I kind of wanted to show you guys. Um, like face stuff, I feel like I've used up quite a bit. So like, I'll just kind of go over really quickly, like in my face stuff, like primers, I used up 20 primers in like six and a half years, 22 foundations, nine concealers, which isn't that much either, 26 powders, but then like, listen to these, seven bronzers, six, six blushes in this whole time, six blushes, <laughs> six highlights, only three brow products, like what, what have I been using? Um, I probably just was using like eyeshadow half the time. Uh, only two eye primers. I don't really use, I use like the liquid eyeshadows mostly. Um, only four eyeshadows. Four. And I think like three of them were singles and then one was a quad. So like seven actual shadows. Um, 27 eyeliners, 22 mascaras, 11 lip balms, zero lipsticks, zero, zero lipsticks I've used up in the last six and a half years. My lipsticks need to go. Like, they need to go. Um, six lip glosses. I thought I, like, plowed through lip gloss and apparently, like, not. Um, zero lip liners. But lip liners, I feel like, last forever. Uh, nine setting sprays. But I don't really use setting spray that much anymore. I only have two of them. Um, three depotted eyeshadows. So, like, ones that are in my Z palette. Um, so I guess technically I've used up, like, ten eyeshadows. Like, a ten eyeshadow pans in the last six and a half years and that like really hit me because I'm like dude you have so many eyeshadows like literally like 900 something eyeshadows like that is just nuts 
So that needs to get taken care of. Um, I'm pretty with the rest of my face, I think, next. So I have this little... <sighs> So I had like this Victoria's Secret little powder, but it had like five different powders. I did a post on my Instagram about it. So I depotted it into these old like used up containers because like it wasn't working very good. Like the pan was hard, but now that I've split them up, they work good. But it's like the stuff is old. There's something on my phone. These things are old and like I had to like do all this work just to get them to work, you know? So I don't know. Ah. So I'm gonna use the bronzer color. So it's like a Victoria's Secret, like mosaic thing. So yeah. And I'm gonna do a video today where I show my entire makeup collection. I'm not gonna go through like every single item and be like, and this is my MAC eyeshadow and this, and this is my NARS blush and this. But I'm gonna, I am going to show everything that I have because I feel like before when I've done collections like I just kind of be breezed over it or had like makeup in different sections of my room um so you guys never really got like the full effect and whenever I would do declutters before like so recently I started watching some of my old declutters again and I would declutter it and then keep it and then declutter it again and then keep it and it's always like the same things I'm like these are such cheap brands like LA Colors or like Dollar Tree type stuff and I would declutter it and then I'd keep it and then I'd declutter it and then I'd keep it and so I was watching a video and it was from like literally exactly six years ago to the day yesterday I was watching it and I was like oh my gosh I still have like all this stuff <laughs> so I'm ready to like actually declutter it. The only thing, I guess this is like a big thing too, is I don't like waste, which to be fair, I already did the waste. The wasting already happened. I already spent the money. I bought something that I shouldn't have bought that someone else could have had the opportunity to buy, but I bought it and hoarded it away and stored it away. Um, I'm going to mix these two blushes together from that same Victoria's Secret thing. So I pop, bought it and the wasting already happened. So it's already a waste. <laughs> and um, I guess like one of my big things is I don't want something to go in the trash. But realistically, this stuff is all so old now. Not all of it, but like some of it from like, you know, 2010, 11. That's like 10 years old now. That's all. It needs to go in the trash. And I was thinking about it too. Even if like I use up these powders in here or not, this container itself is literally going to end up in the trash anyways. So whether there's product in there or not, it's going to go in the trash. Um, But I, I just always like, I feel like I humanize things and I'm like, oh, but this has so much life left in it. Like, like this thing like matters, like it's a person. Um, And like when I grew up like my parents like never had us like waste anything like we ate all of the food on our plate we never like scraped anything into the trash like I remember seeing that someone do that for the first time I'm like what <laughs> like what are you doing um we just didn't like waste anything um I'm using this reserve your cabana little highlighter <laughs> from wet and wild so it's hard for me to just like throw something straight into the trash and sometimes I'm worried like if I give someone a bunch of stuff like what if they throw it away and I need to just like let go of that mentality because realistically everything that we own is eventually gonna like go in the trash and I feel like that's maybe why it's easier for me to let go of um like home things or clothes because I know I can donate it and it can get used so I have been trying to find like a women's shelter around me that I can donate a lot of my like new stuff that's not very old because like that's a great cause that would make me feel good like I would totally give away like all of my stuff if I could do that. Um, it's hard for me to find one in my area and I don't really want to pay for shipping to like ship stuff somewhere. Um, I'm using this Maybelline Define a Brow. 
Um, so I don't really want to pay to like ship it because I found some of those. There was like one women's shelter around me and I like emailed them yesterday about it. But then the email came back undeliverable. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. So I don't know. I need to try to do some more research to see if there's like something. And I know like with COVID, like they might be more strict now too. So that's kind of frustrating. But um, yeah, I think I need to get over the fact that like I, not all of my stuff is going to be used. Like there's no way that I'm going to be able to like sell everything I have, donate the rest and it's all going to get used and like give, give it to friends and family and like they're all going to use it. Like it's just, it's just not going to happen. And I need to realize the fact that it's getting old and it's going to need to get thrown away, which is really, really hard for me, but I know that you guys are going to help me get through it and I will get there one day. And I know like once the process is done and the whole thing is over with, which I know it will take a while, but like once I have all this stuff out of my life, I'll be feeling so much better. Like uh, it'll be such a weight off my shoulders and it'll be great. Oh man. I've been having like really, really bad, like a sinus pressure for like a couple months now that won't go away. I need to like go use some nasal spray or something. Um, but yeah. Okay. My eyebrows are like not looking the greatest, but we'll get there. Um, let's put on some lip gloss and let that sit in. My lips feel kind of dryish. <laughs> I'm going to use this MAC lipstick in Date with Violet. <laughs> it's like one of those cream sheen glasses. Oh man, my sinus pressure just got like really bad out of nowhere. Gosh, Rupert is chewing his bones so loud. I like hope no one can hear him being disgusting. Um, where'd my mirror go? Okay, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to like show you guys everything and like, you know, not like try to pretend that it's not as bad as it is because it is pretty bad. And, um, I've been watching this girl on YouTube recently. I found her channel, like, I don't know, maybe like two or three weeks ago. And then her name is, her channel name is A Hoarder's Heart and um she's a hoarder um but it's kind of like her whole house was like hoarded when she started except for like a couple of like their main like rooms that they live in and so for the past few years she's been like going through and decluttering everything and it really like got me motivated to do stuff and so i've been like cleaning out other areas of my house like my shoes and my purses and my kitchen and like my kids stuff it's hard for me to let go of like my kids old clothes because it's from like when they were babies and stuff and also um like we've been like off and on like if we want to have a third baby or not so like it, I kind of don't want to get rid of it yet but I know like we don't have a storage area in our house so it's like in our ooh, it's in our basement living room just like sitting there with our Christmas tree um but yeah so I've been watching her videos it's been really motivating and so yesterday, actually, I was like in the process of like, I'm going to declutter everything. Actually, the last two days, Saturday and Sunday, I was like, I'm going to declutter everything. And so I was like going through with my little inventory and I was like picking out stuff. I'm like, yeah, get rid of this, get rid of this. And I was like making little piles. And then I like posted a picture on my Instagram and my um, Facebook group the like panning Facebook group that I'm part of uh the pan fam <laughs> and everyone was like will you please like film it um uh, not everyone a couple people like messaged me on each Instagram and Facebook and were like you know will you please film a series on it like whatever and I was like thinking about it today I was like I do want to do like I feel like as like a healing to myself and also so I can like look back at my journey and like see where I started and where I ended. This would be really great to like document too. And so that's why I, so I ended up like today, this morning, 
putting everything back that I was like getting ready to declutter. I have it like in a spreadsheet so I can like kind of go back and try to remember what few things, it wasn't very much yet, but like what few things I was like ready to let go of. Um, but I like put it all together because I haven't actually had it all in one thing too because I had some in my vanity. I had some in like a different organizer over here. Um, I had, you know, my big makeup collection. I have some on my desk here and I didn't have it all like in one place. So I was like, I'm gonna put it all in one place so I can film like a makeup collection so I can see like where I start and where I end up. And so that's kind of where I'm at now. And just to like show it all. So I'm excited to do that. I'm gonna do that in the next video and just like really show how much I actually have um, because I think it'll be motivating for me to like really try to get rid of a lot of it. And I think it'll be nice for you guys to like see like the whole journey of it um, and like have it documented too for like my future. And um, I'm really, really excited about that. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to see. I really, really hope that it ends with me having like a very small makeup collection. My husband has been like really supportive. Like he never is like forceful of like me trying to like do anything but he always is like you know it would be so nice if like that corner of our room instead of having like all these makeup towers if we could put like a nice little chair and a little table we could have like a little reading nook right there because we like to read or you know all these different things are like you know for me to be able to go out and pick out a nice new little makeup thing um when I run out and like have that joy again but like not excessive like how it used to be. Oh, I forgot to say what I was using. I used, what was my eyeliner? The Physician's Formula little eyeliner and then this is the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Which is like my favorite. I've been using it for way too long. It needs to be like emptied out but I just, I don't know, it's still been working and it hasn't irritated my eyes and I'm just like, I don't know, I freaking love this stuff so, but I do need to let it go and pick out a new one to use because I have a, a couple mascaras but yeah he's pretty supportive but he's never like mean or like telling me I need to do anything he's always just like I feel like it would help you so much I don't know so we'll see I really really hope that you know everything actually happens for me this time and it's not like another one of those times where I'm like oh I'm gonna do this and I do a declutter and then I put it all back like I refuse to let that happen again and seeing how little bit of makeup I've used up and it's been like six years like that's bad <laughs> you know and like in another six years do I want to have like basically all of the same stuff in here and like only have used up like a handful of each thing like no like it comes to a point like what well, I can't have this stuff for like another 30 years you know what I mean like it needs to go and I'm just like at that point and I feel like a lot of people on YouTube like have gotten to that point like I remember watching makeup by Tiffany D she did like a huge declutter series she's one of my favorite like bigger youtubers and she had done like a whole series on that and that was back like 2017 I want to say 2016 2017 um that she did that and now she doesn't like have as much anymore and I think like all of us kind of got to that point because like I mean if you started around the time that I did like when YouTube like blew up with like you know all the different beauty YouTubers um now we still like have a huge not everyone but like you know we still have a huge collection and it's just not healthy or good to hold on to so I'm excited about it I hope that you guys are excited um I'm gonna be being a stay-at-home mom most likely soon because um Nolan's gonna be starting school so I need to just have a different schedule with him um and then also my um my my job is closing <laughs> my branch is closing permanently um like in the summertime anyways so I'll be a stay-at-home mom so hopefully I can try to like do YouTube as like you know something enjoyable for me to do and kind of an escape from just only being a mom all the time and so I'm excited for that 
um, and I just feel like this is maybe like kind of like a relaunch or like a rebrand of my channel and that you know I can come back and start filming videos again like how I used to and now I'm just like decluttering everything so um, yeah I'm really excited about it I hope that you guys are too um, leave me some encouraging words down below and um, yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will talk to you all later bye